Welcome back everybody, it's your buddy Josh, coming back at you with another update, hope everybody's been doing real good, doing a little bath here this morning, getting everybody set up for the day, been a little while since the last update, so figured I'd uh, get at you guys, let you know how everything's been going. We all been doing pretty good here. Looks like Belladonna is ready to get out of the bath now. So with my baths here in the morning, I got uh, what I like to do is have all the girls in one tub, and then the boys in the other. That way, there's no shenanigans in there. Belladonna is usually the first one that gets antsy, wants to come out. So of course keeping with her tradition, she's the first one out of the tub. I'm getting everybody set up here for the morning, so I'll go through and get all these salads taken care of and refreshed up for the day. I'll go through and then feed everybody. Bubba's been doing real good back there. <clears throat> got the girls pulled out now everybody's uh, getting dried off chirp ended up running up for the window there get this opened up so she can get some fresh air it looks like it's gonna be kind of a uh, overcast day out there today still getting some pretty good sun or uh, some pretty good air temperatures coming through there it rain this morning So let's see, get everybody set up with some salads here. Mayday's in the towel. All wrapped up. We got Lemon down here. She's looking for a way into the enclosure. Didn't realize that side was open. So, uh, and I got Puff in here still. He's got to get come out. I'll take him out before he gets all... Worked up over the girls. Oh, you seen him? Hey, no, eat puff. Boy, he went in there real fast. I got him. I got him though. Oh, he's head bobbing. I better get him in there. You behave yourself, puff. He's pretty worked up right now. <clears throat> I already got his salad there for him. And so let's see here. We'll get the girls set up and made a with uh, some salads. So I usually just like to dump all the old salad into the mealworm container or the super worms. And then uh, we got our containers out here. We'll go through and distribute out some collard greens there's a little bit of kale in here too every once in a while I'll throw in a little bit of that you don't want to overdo it with the kale though because it can lead to uh, binding up some of the calcium and they don't get as much calcium in there I like to slide that one all the way to the back some dry salad in here. I'll clean that out. And then, let's see, this salad I like to put up front. So we got lemon hanging out here. She's a little dark right now. And uh, Belladonna. Belladonna's been pretty fired up lately. She's got a lot of sheds on her, uh, shed patches coming off there. Her head. So I like to do the three salads in here for the girls. And then Mayday's got his salad. 
So he's quite the salad monster. He likes to visit the different spots and get the salad. Mayday's been getting really, really big. He's a big boy now. He still doesn't mess with the girls or anything. He's a special boy. And and his uh his eyesight is still pretty bad. But he's a good good lizard. He likes to just chill out. And there goes my girl Nebula. She's uh enjoying chirp up on the windowsill here. This looks like she's looking for a good spot. She's gonna sit right on top of chirp there. And do some submissive head bobbing. Nebula's been doing really good. She's uh getting real big. Got a lot of nice color on her. Hey, come here, you. Don't be crushing your sister like that. Got oh, that little brat. Nebula? So I noticed my little buddy Mayday's got some crud in his eye here, on, on the bottom of his eyelid there. I'll show you guys what I do to clean that out, because that happens to my little boy quite a bit. Little pieces of shed get stuck in there on him. So I, uh... While he's laying down here, oh, we've got somebody coming around the side of the enclosure. Looks like it looks like Nebula. So I got my uh, saline solution here for contacts. It's got the little squirt bottle. So what I like to do is uh, just get a couple drops in there. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll give it a little bit of a squirting, squirting action there in the bottle. Give it a little bit of a squeeze once I know I'm lined up right. And then, uh, and then I got this little uh, napkin here, and it's I'll fold it like that. That way I can use one of the edges, a clean edge, to uh, to wipe any excess there on my little buddy. So let's see if we can uh, we can do this here while holding the camera steady. Oh, I'm gonna get get any in there. I'm gonna actually have to <clears throat> switch hands and get this set up a little different. Let's see. There we go. Let's give it a little bit of a squirt. Not too much, but. Enough where we can help get some lubrication in there for the babu. And what I'm gonna do is just real gently use that corner to work this out. And there it is. Hopefully I got it on camera, but I think I might not have. Good boy, buddy. And then I'm just going to put a little bit more saline on there. Good boy. And then just one more little wipe down. Got it for him. Can open that eye up, buddy, and see what we got. 
That looks a lot better. Good job, Babu. It's a good boy right there. I'll put him back in so he can start getting warmed up. Ready, buddy? Whoa! He's in. Good boy. Mayday. World's most flexible bearded dragon. Well, now that we got Mayday all set up, I went ahead and I uh, been setting up this lay box here for the girls because they're starting to get they're uh, all one years old now so i am uh, been slowly introducing them to the lay box and uh, during that little commercial break there I just threw Nebula in there lay box and she's in here already digging like crazy she loves it she's got herself a nice little uh, cavern already started there She turns around, she'll find out that this little plastic piece I have in there provides a nice little roof. So, but she's uh, taken right to the sand, doing her thing in there. So I'm going to put this back on, give her a little bit of privacy. It's warm enough in here where I don't really need a... Uh, heat light over the top of that right now probably like 85 degrees in this room so I'm just gonna leave uh, the towel on there heat lamp isn't really necessary the girl chirp back here she's still hanging out in the window looking pretty orange in her beard there Good girl. And then I wanted to take you guys back and uh, do a quick update with Rocco. I'll get this shut down for Puff here. My big boy Rocco. He's been doing really good lately. Been spending a lot of time going with outside with me. He's getting some natural sunlight. One of the drawbacks with the uh, plexiglass and windows and stuff is that it blocks a lot of the natural UVB light from the sun. So I still got to have a lot of UVB in here for my Bubba. And I got the uh, mercury vapor heat, heat and UV bulb, 100 watt. It keeps his basking platform about 101. 105 maybe at the most but he's got a big enclosure here it's a four foot by two foot tall and two foot deep so there's a lot of temperature gradient in here and then uh, I've got the Reptisun 10.0 UVB fluorescent light in the back and that's that's a 46 incher so it's the 54 watt, that's the most powerful one they make. So even though there's not much for UVB coming through that window there in the back, even when the, sh the sun is shining really bright, my Rocco buddy here, he gets a lot of UVB just from, from the regular light bulbs. So he's got a couple favorite spots he likes to go when he comes out of here. He's to the point now where I trust him to just leave his uh, free range door open. And he's got a little ramp there down below that gets him down to the ground level. 
It's one of his favorite features of this setup down here. He can come in and out as he wants. But when he does come out, he likes to hang out in the living room. He goes and visits the that east facing window for the morning sunrise. And then afternoon times he likes to spend over here once the sun creeps back around the house. This is a west facing window set up here. So he gets to see some pretty epic sunsets. So Rocco's been doing real good. He's been packing on the pounds and the length. Last time we weighed him, I think he was about 730 grams. He probably hasn't uh, gained too much since the last time we weighed him. But he's still the biggest lizard that I have. He's been going outside quite a bit too with me lately. We've been enjoying some time outside with the chickens and going up by the garden. I haven't had to trim Bubba's nails at all because because of all the hard surfaces in here the tile floor and everything. These chunks of marble and uh, his brick, his paver stone there basking spot makes it really nice and convenient he just wears his, his uh, claws right down I don't have to worry about doing the trimming So Bubba's been doing really good, taking good care of his pad. Got my Nova in the bath here today. She was looking a little parched this morning, so I threw her in the bath. And I, uh, same time here, got my buddy Rox over here, he's in the bath the big boy so my big boy just had his birthday here not too long ago July 24th Rox ended up turning five years old he was my first bearded dragon I ever got He's my uh, my oldest dragon. He's been doing really good though. Keeping everybody in line. I thought I would also add this into the video today. Finally got myself a beehive. Some honey bees. Ended up having a swarm show up at work there the other day. And thankfully my buddy and I have been preparing the uh, beehive and stuff. And we've been talking about getting the uh, setup going. So we were inquiring about looking to get a queen. We found out that it would, uh, we would pet probably have to wait till October to get put on a list and stuff. So, but thankfully we came across this swarm here, and it's a little colder out today, so uh, everybody's kind of probably just hunkered down in here, but there's uh, thousands of bees in there right now. It was a massive, massive hive that we got. So, and uh, we're probably like 90% sure we got the queen in there, maybe even like 95% because all the uh, worker bees have been doing their thing eating honey and bringing it back so if I lift that top off right now you'd see that there's uh, there's thousands of bees in there it's, it's insane 
So we just got to do our best to keep all the predators at bay here. Things like skunks and ants and yellow jackets. All that stuff will come after uh, the honey and try to try to wipe out the hive here. So, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that in the video. Got a honey box now.